in the bustling village of Serendel. There lived a wise and gentle artist named Elara. She was known far and wide for her intricate and captivating paintings. Each stroke of her brush seemed to bring life to the canvas. And her artworks held a magical quality that touched the hearts of anyone who beheld them. Elara was dedicated to her art. Spending countless hours each day perfecting her skills and creating new masterpieces. However, she had a peculiar habit that puzzled the villagers. At the end of every day, just as the sun would set and the sky would turn into a canvas of orange and pink hues, Elara would step outside her cottage and gaze wistfully at the horizon. With a heavy sigh, she would murmur, If only I had done more with today. Her friends and neighbors found this habit odd, considering the incredible beauty she brought to the world through her paintings. They couldn't understand why she would be dissatisfied with her efforts. One day, a curious young girl named Leela decided to approach Elara and ask her about this daily ritual. Excuse me, Elara, Leela began timidly. I've always wondered why you look so sad at the end of each day. Your paintings are the most wonderful things I've ever seen. Elara smiled at Leela's sincerity and invited her inside her cottage. She gestured towards the walls adorned with breathtaking landscapes, vibrant portraits, and dreamy scenes that seemed to whisper stories of their own. Thank you, dear Leela. You see, each painting you admire is a piece of my heart, my perception of beauty and wonder. But in my pursuit of perfection, I sometimes forget to embrace the beauty of the present moment. Leela looked puzzled. But you create beauty every day. Why do you worry about what's already done? Quote. Elara gently placed a hand on Leela's shoulder and led her to a half-finished painting on her easel. The canvas depicted a serene meadow with colorful wildflowers swaying in the breeze. Leela. Let me tell you a story that I've never shared before. Once, I was a young and passionate artist like you. I would spend my days lost in the world of my art. But I was often haunted by the shadows of missed opportunities. The paintings I had already completed never seemed quite perfect to me. I let yesterday's perceived imperfections cast a long shadow on today's canvas. Leela listened intently. Her curiosity peaked. One day, an old wanderer passed through our village. He was a man of many stories and experiences. I shared my feelings with him. And he told me a tale that changed my perspective forever, Elara continued. He told me about a wise gardener who planted a beautiful garden. Every day, he would tend to his flowers. But he had a peculiar habit. At the end of each day, he would walk through the garden, gazing at the blooms, and he too would sigh. If only I had done more with today. Leela frowned in confusion. But the garden was full of flowers. Just like your paintings are full of beauty. Elara nodded. Exactly. Dear Leela, the gardener realized his folly after many years. He had spent so much time regretting what he hadn't done. He hadn't allowed himself to fully appreciate the beauty he had cultivated. The same lesson applies to my heart. If I let yesterday's doubts and regrets overshadow the present moment, I'll never fully embrace the beauty of today. Tears welled up in Leela's eyes as she understood the profound wisdom in Alara's words. So, you are saying we shouldn't let yesterday take up too much of today? Quote. Elara smiled, her eyes twinkling with warmth. Precisely. Leela, yesterday is a canvas that's already painted. We can't change it, but we can learn from it. Today is a blank canvas, waiting for us to fill it with our best efforts, our creativity, and our presence. I create art not just for the final piece, but for the joy of creating in the moment. Leela left Alara's cottage with a newfound understanding, carrying the valuable lesson of embracing the present with her. And from that day forward, 
Elara continued to create her magnificent paintings. But she no longer let yesterday's doubts dampen her spirit. She painted with the knowledge that each stroke of her brush was a gift to the world. A celebration of the present. And a promise to never let yesterday's shadows steal the brilliance of today's canvas.